Hey guys, this is Max from MHS Prod and founder of the Motion Designers Community. I hope you're good and today we will do some Expresso basics. I've already made an Expresso tutorial on the channel. It's called Discover Expresso and Understand How It Works. This is my own vision and own use on Expresso. I hope you will enjoy, enjoy and have a good time. I must apologize for my uh, English accent. I'm from Paris. Um, I used to make only French tutorials and people asked me to do English video. So I try my best to speak English. Hope you will understand everything and have a great moment learning. So what we're gonna do today? Today, we will create uh, some Expresso to add a wiggle on any kind of uh, settings. Here, for example, we will do it to control um, a deformer. And I can also control my materials. A more in-depth use of uh, what we're going to la learn today is, uh, for example, I'm working on this uh, alien asset structure so this is not a final uh, render the material are just here for previs but i want to send this to the guy working on materials and just uh, the guy just needs to put it on the scene and don't care about how he will animate all these uh, small deformers because Everything is uh, with a slider, so a very useful way to work with people. And if you want to send me back this and we want to choose different kind of materials, um, I don't want to switch and control and remove uh, material. I think the best way to collaborate with people is like to have a tab and okay, I have these three options. We will go for this option. This is a a really nice uh, way to work. You can even imagine to have a like a Lorez uh, if uh, you're you're far far for, from from your object and have uh, higher texture res. A lot of possibilities. So we will do it right now. Let's jump into um, new. Mm, I will set my my C4D into English. I think you will you will enjoy it uh, better. <laughs> I will just close and reopen it. I must do do this. Uh, so feel free to, to watch the other tutorial on the on the channel. A lot of cool content. You have the content in the upper right. So French videos sometimes and English videos more and more English videos. So let's jump into this English C40. I want to have my sphere uh, with a better look and we want to control different uh, things on it. So how to control it. I can add an Expresso tag by right clicking C40 tags Expresso. The wiggle uh, is really simple. It's called noise. You will find it by right clicking new node Expresso noise. You will have different type of noise. You can check positive only and you will have a uh, scale, frequency, amplitude and a seed. Now I can connect it on everything. For example, I will take my sphere, drag and drop it. And I want to add a wiggle on my way y axis just connect it okay nothing really intense happen but if i adding more amplitude we will see something okay but one thing if you click there and you close your expresso editor it's really hard to control. So I want to make my own user data and have uh, an additional tab there. So let's go to user data, manage user data, 
and let's go to add group, move this group out of user data. So the tab will have the name of my group and let's call it option. If I click OK, OK, I have option there. Really basic, really nice. I want to add my noise control there. So we will go into Expresso, let's go for noise. And we will do one thing, really fun. Let's shift click, right click, user interface, copy user data interface. Let's go to our sphere. Let's go to user data, paste user data interface. Let's drag and drop it right there into option. So it just um, it's just a copy of the name, the data type you need, the step, the step. So this is not connected yet to the noise. Let's click OK. But I have right now into my sphere different controller. I just want to connect it. Really simple. Let's take our sphere. Let's go and let's drag and drop our different option. Not complicated at all. That's OK. Now let's um, connect it to the noise. So scale, frequency, amplitude, and seed. Scale, frequency, amplitude, and seed. Right now, nothing has happened because everything is, set, is set to zero. I can just um, control my uh, wiggle right there. So really handy, really, really helpful and handy. I want to connect it to something else. Just uh, take what you want to control. For example, this uh, bulge deformer, let's move the bulge there. Let's go to fit to parent and we want to control the strength. Let's go to Expresso, delete the sphere and drag and drop the bulge, drag and drop the strength and let's connect it. Right now it will be really big. I want to divide everything uh, by uh, 10 uh, to work with uh, nice values. I, I love to work with uh, nice values. I don't want to work with zero point something. It's, uh, it's nice, but I don't want to work with this. So let's just go to Expresso, new node, Expresso, calculate. Ah, that's not the same name in French. What's the name? Range mapper. I guess that's it. Okay, just connect it to range mapper. In France, it's called cartographie d'intervalle. So, I think the English name is clear, clearer. I I don't even know what is a cartographie d'intervalle. So range mapper, you have an input and an output. So it's logic. So let's say one will become 0 0.1. So right now I can play with uh, values like two, three. It's going to be 0 0.3, but I will play with uh, higher values. That's uh, clearer for me and even more for my collaborators. If you send something and you, you everything needs to be um, nice to use. If, if someone doesn't know my project and he got something and he needs to tweak it till he find, oh, okay, there I will play this very low value, there I want high value, this is not logical. So try to be uh, logical for uh, the people you work with. That's nice, that's okay. I'm happy with this. 
And right now, let's say I want to, to have um, three or four types of material. You can imagine you are working on a car look and you want to have different type of colors and a different type of uh, resolution. If you're far, if you're close and you want your collaborators to have access to your option. Um, you have something for this. It's called general. What's the English name? Mm, object index. I guess it's object index. It's not object index. Sorry, I will uh, take a bit time to find it because I'm French. And in French, it's linked list. Yes, linked list. I find it. So I can link different objects or materials and with an index from uh, zero to infinite, I can change the, uh, the object or the texture. So let's create three material, white, gray, black. Let's go to link list, white, gray, black. So zero uh, will be white, gray will be uh, one, and black will be two. I want to control it. So let's go to your user data and create a new user data. Let's go there, add data, call it uh, color or material. I had a small crash due to my Octane render. Um, so let's go there. Sorry for the little cut. Material, let's check data type from integer. Now into interface, I will go to cycle. And then I will do my own a uh, little tab. So you have here the syntax. So type zero. Remember zero for index zero. White one index one to gray two black. That's perfect. So white, gray, black. Nice. Let's click OK. So white, gray, black, index 0, index 1, 2. Let's go there. Material and material there. So material looks like white, gray, black, but it's just like 0, 1, 2. So 0, 1, 2. I want to control the index. Just understand this. Let's copy this and the link I want to control um, so I can add like a uh, texture tag and I want to change the material just this so really simple so add the texture tag or drag and drop a texture go into your expressor you can even drag and drop the texture tag and what you want to control the material so material change the link and now I will be probably able to change the material there. Really useful to work with different resolution, to work with different texture. Uh, that's nice. And I can uh, right now if I want to have a more a clearer view, mm, I can do something um, I can disable this, for example, add to a new layer, and just call it Aiden, for example, just hit, add it to the manager, and I can even add my material uh, to Aiden. So just go on my sphere. If I if I want my partners to <laughs> don't touch anything. I can go there and I can even uh, add the expresso tag on a new. Uh, remember that the expresso tag can be anywhere because if you if you move it, 
um, the, inside nothing will change so you can move it here and just call it espresso backup call it like you want and you can even hide it so I have my sphere super nice object I can control frequency scale amplitude wow too much and I can change the color and everything is nice to to work with now I can send this asset to my partners and he can uh, make his uh, hauntings create his own material and uh, send me back everything and uh, this will be uh, really clear to use i hope you guys enjoy uh, this short um, this short video i try my best to explain you my espresso basis i'm i must tell you that i'm not a killer at espresso that's just my uh, own use of it basic but it, it, it was hard for me to find good tutorials to learn so i want to share uh, how i use it because uh, uh, I've taken too much time before jump into it, uh, probably afraid because of nodes, and that was a, a silly idea. Nodes are, are nice. So feel free to join our channel. Uh, you can join our Facebook group called Motion Designers Community. Uh, the Motion Designers Community is a huge community. You have Instagram can use the hashtag MD community to submit your renders for the page. Incredible content every day. Uh, you must know that we are a re real community. We are making um, physical events with people from the community. The first one happened in Paris, but uh, we are looking to make uh, probably more events just to help people meet and have a great time and a beer so that's not just an Instagram page this is a uh, really something and if you want to support um, MHS prod uh, about our tutorials you can go there and be like your second patron I'm new at patreon so I must uh, add new things but we have uh, few things what i can tell you is uh, you can get some visuals if you want to re reuse it uh, you can have one exclusive tutorial per, per month uh, this is going to be long long tutorial like one hour on really uh, nice um, content i will probably uh, we will do exclusive project and we can have mentorship different things that if you just want to support uh, just for the project file feel free to support and if you don't want to support i will still do many tutorials on youtube so do what you want uh, we have a lot of videos so feel free to check it feel free to check all the tutorials on youtube there are so much knowledge right there and a lot of people are making good uh, incredible tutorials and uh, see you next time guys